Fun footies. Yeah. Hey everybody, this is an honest friend chick. And you know when you're watching those late night TV shows, especially during the holidays or when Valentine's Day is quickly approaching, this is a product called Fun Footies. I know. Isn't this? It is. It's Fun Footies. Okay. So anyway, these plush things, it's really just kind of fun. Um, black, peace signs all over. Yeah, sometimes it's a little bit silly, but you know what? I'll tell you, when it's cold, you really look for something like this. Because at least you can still move, right? Hmm. And if you happen to go outside and it's a little, yeah, you're not going to get the breeze on you, but this will help keep you warm. Especially if your heat's not quite as warm as you would like it to be because, hmm. yeah, somebody's trying to save on the heating bill. Anyway, oh, wait, wait, forget that. we got news. We're going to bring old Kim on now with comments on the headlines of today. Does he look like the president? They get you in trouble. And it's yeah. all over for the Republicans. Well, they are, it began, uh, uh, Bill, uh, I love this, Sean Hannity, it looks like the Republican Party is going to destroy itself by splitting up into two parts and that the, and that the, the Hillary Clinton will easily become president. She got no chance in hell. She, first of all, she's going to have to, she, she made that smart ass remark that buried her. She's going to be 72 years old. The, the days of electing people that are senior citizens are over in this country. They're probably gonna. My guess is Ryan, Ryan and um, and Ron Paul and a few of the others are gonna go to the new branch of the party. That's where the power is gonna be. That's where the money's gonna be. Yeah. The older, the hard the people, the, their so-called moderates are the guys that basically are gonna. Kick, oh, here's here's Ryan. I heard Ryan say this morning. He said we're not going to be. They're not going to approve anything that we say in this House of Representatives in the Senate. So it's a free pass to defund Obamacare, a total free pass. And we have, we have people in the House, well, we can't do that because it'll look bad. He said, uh, he said, how many people would turn down an opportunity to go see a free baseball game or a free Packers football game? The House of Representatives on the Republican side would because it might look bad. Oh. And if the Environmental Protection Agency wants to lay down more red tape, it will have to go through red tape to do so. Oh yeah, because the problem is that they uh, they lost Obama's uh, EPA lost in the courts. They lost in when you lose in the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals, you're screwed. They said that Obama they had no authority to pass. That one one of the guys said he said you cannot charge people for breathing the air. He said that ruling about uh, carbon had to do with factories, not people breathing. So they're going to charge you carbon taxes on your people breathing. Uh, an immigration activist rallying in Bakersfield, California. Well, because there's a there's a Republican that that just happens to be Hispanic that doesn't go along with. It. I mean, this is okay, here. Here, Flea Obama has something important to say, folks. If you were making ten dollars an hour before you got your green card, you're only going to be making ten dollars an hour after you get your green card. You are not going to contribute hundreds of billions of dollars to the economy. What will happen? You will be legal, and you still won't pay taxes because you're not making enough money. And because you're not making enough money legally, they're going to give you stuff that you weren't legally able to get before. So you're going to drain the economy. You've got oh, thirty million people that aren't here legally. And when you legalize them, you're going to get the situation. They said uh, Social Security is going busted to begin with. Well, they're going to help it. Not if they're not paying into it because they don't have jobs where the money's taken out of them. I can guarantee you right down the street, there is at least a half a dozen businesses that are being operated by people that can't speak English and have no intention of learning and are not contributing to Social Security and will not contribute. And Democrats, Democrats make case against arming teachers. If I make my teacher angry, is my teacher going to shoot me? Um, when I was young, if I make my teacher angry, are they going to use that baseball bat they have in the back of the room? Teacher did do it. Uh -huh. So there's, you know, they change the little kids. You know, the kid comes in and he sees the teacher packing. Oh, uh, oh uh, here's a good one. Something else that they probably didn't realize. I was a movie brat. You know what happened? I would be on sets, and the teachers would be in movies, and they would be packing sidearms. I did, I did World War II movies, and the teachers would be on the sets, and they'd have a, a Mauser stuck over their shoulder when they'd come into the room. Mm -hmm. uh, and those were the women, so. <laughs>
And the new Apple iPhone is not expected to have many changes. Yeah, they said if you like if 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 you didn't like the iPhone 4, which was supposed uh, or the iPhone 4, 3, or 4, 5, which is supposed to be upgrades, you're not going to like the uh, you're gonna love the i5 because it's exactly the other phones. But he said it's cheaper because they're trying to get Samsung's audience, which they've already lost because uh, oh, here's what one person said. He said Samsung is the Cadillac of, of smartphones, but uh, Apple is the Porsche of them. And basically what they're trying to do is to go down to the Toyota side. Oh gosh. Well, guess what? Nokia just went on sale today with its 41 megapixel cell phone. We had our hands on that thing, didn't we? I know. I'm, I wanted to look at the thing going... We've actually had our hands we on it. We had our hands on it, but I didn't realize when we were looking at it that it had a 41 megapixel camera. Know, well, the problem was most of the people we were talking to didn't actually know. Well, they they were, didn't know they were, very much about their technology stuff. What happens stuff. is when you go to trade shows, a lot of the people are talking heads. They're given a thing to say. Now I want to go find those business cards and go call those Nokia people. You're going to have to them because you want that camera. I thought they said, no, they did tell you to contact them about that. I know, they told me. Now I have to go find the card. Jeez. We forgot about that. Maybe. I know. Like, where did we put the car? Was it the Engadget thing? I know it was. Now we have to go find. It. Yeah. Egypt situation impacting Washington. Different take on recess appointments. Oh yeah, Obama says he has the he has the power to do the recess appointments, even though he has lost every single recess appointment he made. He does not have the. Okay, here it works. Is if the Senate is in operation or the House is in operation during. The, during his so-called period where he would give people appointments. And if you're holding meetings, you're in session, folks. Uh -huh. And uh, Harry Reid knows that they're in session. And actually, it his myth read a bit because, they, you know, you don't do that without notifying the, these people in charge. If he notifies Boehner, then Boehner would just simply keep the House in session. If he notifies Reed, Reed will basically say, well, the President of the United States has notified us he's going to do things because you're not in session. Uh, and then they just come back in session, the Republicans, so. And after eight defiant years, Ahmadinejad leaves Iran isolated and cash-strapped. Cash-strapped never actually makes I mean, it, 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 it. You always find cash, folks. Did anybody notice that Korea, North Korea, survives? Yeah. And they've been cash-strapped for... Since I since I was actually in the I was actually you realize I actually was at, in Korea at one time I was in Jeff really? yeah. and senators offer plan to save cash strapped USPS yeah oh I love one of the plans you know that they can make um, as much as fifty billion dollars a year by uh, allowing the, them to do what United Parcel and FedEx does and, and, the, and DX, which is allowing them to ship alcohol across the United States. Oh! Isn't that something? That is where the other companies are making all of their money. They're not making it on the delivery of stuff. They're making it on the fact that they've got the, the sole, uh, per, you know, they've got the majority of, of being able to send, like say, one of the guys said simply, he get from, he's from Napa, Sonoma. He said, you go into one of their places and buy bottles of wine, you either have to take them back with you or have FedEx or UPS send them for you. He said, whereas all these businesses have to do nothing more since they get postal service, is simply have the, the uh, priority mail boxes there. They put the stuff in the boxes and send it the same moment that you buy it. Oh gosh, that's something I didn't even realize. Fifty billion a year in that business. Oh my, and it's one of those things you're going, why didn't they think of that before? Because uh, it was outlawed in 1906. Because that was before FedEx and UPS existed. Yeah, and they basically, uh, also it was also before wineries were shipping across the United States. Uh, but after World War II, they started doing that because people traveled. And DEA continues crackdown on medical marijuana dispensaries. Yeah, uh, here's the problem is, is that you've got um, the Obama who thinks it's all right to sell, the, you know, I'm, I'm guessing Obama's going, if you go into a nursery where the newborns are, it's going to be all right, according to Obama, to basically uh, sell drugs to the nurses that are taking care of the babies or, you know, any of these things, because he thinks it's perfectly acceptable along with the Democrats, but uh, the DEA is still following the law because they've not changed the laws. Obama just says it's all right, and Holder says we're going to turn our back to it. 
Okay, Leahy, Bloomberg's gun ads didn't help a bit. Oh God, they said that Bloomberg's, every ad that Bloomberg took out in a red state backfired on him on gun control. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Well, that's a real simple one. You know, often the day uh, that you know, beauty treatments only work so long.